Now, I didn't pay much attention in French, but boy, can I tell you due to the numbers on the screen and the phones that this is New Year's Eve in France, Italy, Spain, maybe Portugal, okay? We've got that far. <laughs> Okay, I've actually been there, so I know it's France. 2024, the year of the phones, apparently. Look around you. What do you see over there? No one enjoying the moment. All you see is screens. It's fucking annoying. Ah, The world is deteriorating like a digestive biscuit dipped in your cup of tea that you've just left overnight. It's gone. It's dissolved. It's died. And the humanity is the digestive biscuit. The world around us is the tea. I don't know about this analogy anymore, but it made sense a minute ago. It goes on and on like your mum explaining to you why you need to be better this year. It just keeps going and going. No one's enjoying it. Everyone's just, oh, look at the fireworks. Look at these sparklers in the sky. Fireworks are the most overrated shit in the world. All right, don't get that straight. Let No, let's get that straight. Who likes fireworks? fireworks they're the same every year if you go to spain if you go to iraq if you go to china if you go to fucking alaska Alaska. wherever fireworks are had they're the same big sparkly little stars in the sky that do not matter okay they do not and they just mean it costs the government loads of money for people to not even pay attention and just film it and put it on social media no one's here for a good time no one's going oh look at them they're going oh at least i could put it on me on me instagram and show me show me nan even though i know she's watching on telly but at least i'll be able to show it on smaller screen it's gonna it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be fantastic hey nan are you on facetime are you, are you watching look at me yeah oh i know honey i'm watching it on tv no but look it's on it's on like it's on, it's on my screen, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you it as well. It's terrible. It's bloody terrible, lads. Absolutely terrible. It makes me sad knowing that this is where we are as a society. And don't get me wrong, if I was there, actually, no, if I was there, I would actually put my phone down and I know I would because I'm one of them people that if I'm enjoying something, I don't get me wrong, I, I take a picture, I, I, I like showing my, my family what you do, whatever it is, what have you. But if I saw all these scumbags, these scoundrels, Fred people piss me out. These baguette eating bastards. No, that's racist. If I saw these croissant eating, no, that's a get. Jeez. Oh, if I saw these French people all around me filming, I'd put my phone down and just go, no. Nine, nine. I will be defiant. I will be different. I will not be the same as these baguette. Jesus Harrison Christ. Oh, you're wrong. Right as we climax together. I mean, how oh, fucking dog shit was that, lads? That was the worst firework display I've ever seen. And believe me, I'd know my dad attempted the whole firework debacle for 17 years of my life before giving up, trying to get me on board and commit to helping him out when every year it just resulted in sparklers because none of them ever performed. Wasn't even a good one. You know, if you're going to miss it and then film it on your HTC 500, you know, look at these phones as well. The dog shit is like from the 70s. This isn't bloody iPhone territory. This is like Samsung HTC from 2007. And I'm not hating on Samsung, by the way. I had one for a number of years. But after having one of them or a couple of them and then having a couple of iPhones. iPhones are just better. I'm sorry. They are just better. Every time you take a picture, it doesn't look like someone's pixelated it on a cartoon app. It's just better. What I talk about? But yeah, these poor people have been brainwashed by society. Like I said, I would just put my phone down, just embrace it and go, oh, this is dog shit, isn't it? Why? I'm glad I'm not filming it. To be honest, I'd rather not look. I'm going to look the opposite way. I'm actually going to look at my feet. Actually, fuck that. I'm playing flappy golf on my phone. That's what I'll be doing instead. Like, bah, 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 bah. you can still get it. I can get you flappy golf. Um, it's not cheap. However, I do do deals. So hit me up down below in the description. Comment down below. You know what I mean? But this sort of dog shit, bog shit is exactly why I've lost faith in humanity as a human, a human, a race. So the French have ruined society. It's all over Twitter. You've seen it. Uh, good. I've got really sweaty butt crack for some reason. What the fuck's going on here? Fuck off, you fuck. Fucking gimp. Sorry. Yeah, everybody clear pain about this watching it on their phone. I'm watching it on a computer, you fucking tard. Yeah, humanity's cooked. It is just sad, isn't it? New Year and you're spending the first 10 seconds glaring at your mobile device. And don't get me wrong, phones are a brilliant invention. I'm not saying get rid of them. It's not what I'm saying at all. But what I would say, when I'm watching this YouTuber on, he goes to like Alaska and survives like three days camping and shit. I say we do that. Everyone here in this video, send them to Alaska. Let them camp in the woods for three days. No cell phones. And I guarantee 
guarantee they'll die, all right? And when they die, there's less humans. Less humans equal less population. Less populations equal less global warming. It's a math fact, bro. Physics, yo. Science, dog. Yeah, Mr. White, science, bitch. But yeah, exactly. I just wanted to comment on this because it's just, oh, it is in Paris. All I had to do was read the comment. Sometimes using your brain is profitable and actually helpful. But yeah, I wanted just to comment on this. It's embarrassing. It's tragic. I'm sorry that we had to go through this as a human race once again. Imagine if you're, you know, like in the Simpsons, they have them aliens watching everything. Imagine if you watch it, these fucking idiots, like, they, they, they're fucking they're filming everything and they're watching it. Like, the world's going to end next year. Like, don't they know they, they're not going to be able to show this to anyone anyway? All phones will be nuclear waste and zombies will rise through the ground and eat them all anyway. So no one else is going to see it. But anyway, enough about that. I, enough. Enough about that. I just wanted to um, also go into this year. Thank you for last year. I've officially made it to around four or five months on YouTube without being cancelled, without being called a paedophile or racist or a nonce or a degenerate or like being caught in some controversial scam where I like steal all your money, which by the way is plenty of time for that. So uh, if you want, like just send me, send me your money, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, new year, new me. What's my new year's resolutions? I don't believe in new year's resolutions uh, because everyone breaks them after three days. So I, I always, I'm under the pressure. Don't disappoint. Don't get your hopes up because you're just going to disappoint them. I like to just disappoint straight away. You know what I mean? It's like if someone's going to give you a million dollars next year, I'll be like, well, just give me it now. What's the point of next year? It's the same with this. Just, you know, disappoint me now. I don't need the disappointment later. That sort of thing. My new year's resolution, I'm going to upload one video every day, minimal. That's truthfully my new, I know I just made like a 30 second run of that I'm not doing. Anyway, I am doing one and it's to upload YouTube. My goal here is to actually make people laugh. I want an audience. I want people to feel involved. I want people, you know, I want to read the same people commenting and loving the videos. I want to have this, you know, be speaking to people online, the same people online who understand my videos and you know, get used to them. So, yeah, I want to make things a bit more personal with you. Would you like to make things personal with me? Hey, baby, hey, baby, wee, oui, wee, oui, wee, oui, wee. Oui. Yeah, I, I quit French after year seven. I realized my English wasn't good enough to start learning something else. They were like, Fucking hell, drag this kid back into fucking primary school. Forget the French, forget the... F they taught us two languages for three years, though. Well, three including English in my case, because they were literally teaching me it. But they, they taught you... Fr I did French and Italiano. I was actually all right at Italian because it was slightly better language. I think French is just a bit difficile. Oh, ho, ho, you see what I did there? I can't remember if that's French, Spanish or Italian, but it's one of them. But yeah, that's my New Year's resolution. I want to be more personal with you guys. I want to see your comments, likes, everything. And add me on Twitter, who fucking cares? It's not, it's not about that. It's just simply saying thank you for this year. And next year is going to be even better. I will tell you that for free, homies.